So today's video, we're visiting the Shangri-La Stone Village. Tonight, we roll on down Old Highway 86 in Caswell County. The road runs by a fascinating village made of stone. Henry Warren built it with his bare hands. Mr. Warren is gone now, but his little village remains. Tar Heel traveler Scott Mason takes us to Shangri-La. Something different. They say it's unique. Said it was a memorial to my husband, Henry. Is it? It is. I think it really is. Henry Warren died of cancer in 1977. He was a small man. So jack of all trades, he could do most anything. He began building Shangri-La when he was 75. Who would have messed with rock and moved all these big rock and everything? He lugged all this rock from a quarry nearby. What kind of stone is this? They say it's white flint. That's the first thing he built. You can see all the pretty white stones in that one. And the next thing he built, I think, was the dwelling house over there. The dwelling house, built with 27 bags of cement. They have a school. And a library. There's a church, a motel, theater, and restroom. How long did it take him to build the village? He worked in here nine years. Why did he call it Shangri-La? Just because it was a quiet place, I guess, you know. That's where Roosevelt went during the war for rest and relaxation. Was your husband at rest when he would be out here building? He was. Cigarette and a Coca-Cola, he could stay all day. And sometimes he did. I can just picture him sitting back here thinking. Drawing plans in his head. Was he proud of his village? He was. He really was. Miniature Stone Village is one man's Shangri-La. Lots and lots and lots of people came by. They rode on him and I have pictures. Clippings of Caswell County's delightful miniature village. Memory etched in stone. The memory of a man who was a friend to man. That's what he was. He was a friend to man. He was that kind of a person. You must feel fortunate to have Shangri-La. Right. As a memorial. Remember, I'm walk out here. See how much he loved it.